When you look at me, this is what you see. Blue eyes. Brown eyes. Brown hair. You see a smile. A cool jaw. A cute outfit. Someone who has it all together. But, but then, then something, something seems, seems off. off. I cancel plans at the last minute. I call out of work one too many times. When I don't give my seat up to the elderly on the train, you think you're young, you're healthy. Stand, stand up. up. But, but there's, there's something, something that you, you don't, don't see. You don't see the girl who woke up every morning not knowing whether or not it was going to be a struggle to walk. Whether or not she'll be able to go to work. Or hang out with friends. Or go out on that date. You don't see the 14-year-old who started high school with a pick line in her arm pumping antibiotics to her heart. The girl who spent her 18th birthday in the hospital waiting for an explanation for why her heart and lungs were surrounded by fluid. You, you don't, don't see me looking at myself in the mirror touching the scars that cover my legs and stomach. You don't see me reading the same page over and over over again without realizing that I already have. You don't see me walking home from that date at dinner with my friends, wondering in the back of my mind, will, will I, I be able to do this next week? My name is Allie Cashel. I'm 25 years old. I was diagnosed with Lyme disease and three other tick-borne illnesses 17 years ago. I still experience symptoms today. My name is Erica Lupinacci. I'm 24 years old. I was diagnosed with lupus at 18. There is no cure. Though we had been best friends for most of our lives, we still struggled to talk about what it meant to live with chronic disease. We thought that no one would understand, not, not even each other. After I started work on my debut book, Suffering the Silence, Chronic Lyme Disease in an Age of Denial, Erica and I started sharing and speaking out about our illness experiences for the first time. We started SufferingTheSilence.com to give patients, friends, and family a space to share and witness the true living experience of chronic illness, something we had struggled to do for most of our lives. This has turned into an international movement where people from around the world are breaking their silence and speaking out to raise awareness for invisible and chronic disease. Approximately 133 million people live with ongoing chronic illness in the United States. That's more than 40% of the total population of this country. Too often, patients of these illnesses feel invisible. They feel dismissed, silenced. We, we want, want to break that silence. Let's talk.